Welcome to the driver's seat, and this is the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Mercedes has always sold these in pretty good numbers, but it never had the dynamic appeal to BMW. Well, that's all changed. If you are interested in this vehicle, there's a good chance you've been an audience to the massive advertising campaign Mercedes-Benz ran for the introduction of this all-new version of the venerable C-Class of sedans. Since being introduced 25 years ago, and after selling over 6 million samples, Mercedes-Benz has gone the extra mile with the 2008 version to give American buyers more of what they expect from the sedan, especially one from Mercedes. More attractive design, more space, more standard content, and more performance all in trim levels created for specific buyers. Why the extra effort? Because Mercedes has fallen on some tough times since the early part of this decade, not in regards to sales, which have soldiered on, but more in regards to the vaunted Mercedes-Benz reputation for rock-solid bank vault build quality. This was established with years of vehicles that were in essence overbuilt for the type of driving in this country, but the last version fell victim to the calculators of the budget setters in Stuttgart, and the perceived quality and warranty reports proved them wrong. Yes, the last C-Class was cheaper to build, but it was also unfortunately not nearly as rewarding to own. Well, today is a new day, and Mercedes-Benz is back with an all-new C-Class designed and engineered to take back that crown. Longer and wider than the 2007 model, the new C can accommodate four or five occupants with much more attention to detail. But most of the interest to us are the two distinctive personalities that the seat can be purchased with, sport or luxury. Some would argue that this class of vehicle, filled out with the BMW 3 Series, Infiniti G35, Lexus IS 350, all new Cadillac CTS, and Audi A4, should be able by nature to address each characteristic, but most lean towards one side or the other, luxury or sport. Mercedes appreciates this fact and brings us two unique exterior styling and interior designs. The new C300 and C350, which replaced the previous C280 and C320, carry more powerful V6 engines. The entry-priced Mercedes-Benz C300 is loaded with a 2.8-liter V6 and 228 horsepower and a choice between a class-leading 7-speed automatic or a sporty 6-speed manual. The C350, in turn, is powered by a new 3.5-liter V6 with 268 horsepower and the 7-speed automatic is the only option. And at the top of the lineup is the C300 4Matic, which features full-time all-wheel drive for those of you smart enough to resist the SUV mania, but reside in an area with inclement weather. But as mentioned, Mercedes has tried to anticipate your most common driving mood and makes available a luxury or sport package of options. But key to this idea is the fact that the two trim levels also provide very unique driving experiences with the sport siding towards the BMW Infiniti side of the scale and the luxury model settling down on the Audi A4 and Cadillac CTS side. And as to be expected from a German luxury car, the options list is deep and can become pricey if you decide to jump in. Many of the optional features are also found on Mercedes larger and more expensive vehicles such as navigation systems. AMG sport packages, bi xenon headlamps, Bluetooth controls, multi contour seats, twin panorama sunroofs, and 18 inch AMG split spoke alloy wheels. And safety has not been neglected with seven airbags, seat belt tensioners, and belt force limiters, as well as active head restraints. But even better is if your vehicle can avoid the crash, and therefore the C is loaded with anti lock braking, traction control, brake assist, electronic brake force distribution, and electronic stability control. Of special interest is an adaptive braking system that primes the brakes in panic situations and when the windshield wipers are on, applies light continuous contact to keep the discs dry. Smart thinking. Overall, the 2008 C-Class is now much closer in size, looks, and behavior to the larger E-Class. However, the E-Class is up for its own renewal in the next year or so to keep the gap between these two popular models. The U.S. model range will expand to include diesel engine options, additional formatic all-wheel drive versions, and high-performance AMG models with a V8 engine to take on the BMW M3 and Audi RS4. In summary, the new C is worth your consideration. Looks great, and if the quality is there, it will again be a solid alternative to the oh-so-common 3 Series and Cadillac CTS.